it's the Ottawa sequence and uh, yeah I uh, just want to know now I'm back and uh, it's been a, it's been a busy you know w weekend for me and um, <clears throat> it's been recently because I've been you know working at um, you know Walmart and yeah well, it was really fun it's just like the position I did had um, at Walmart as a cashier, I didn't like it. Um, for me, I just want to have you know have a, like a little more active um, position. I don't want to have you know I don't want to just like all just count money and all and then just scan you know, items. So I want to like more do more than that. So I just want to get that uh, position changed. But anyways, what I'm saying is you know they put me in a different um, position and um, there's a position I didn't like and. Uh, um, let's see. Um, well, I've been busy with college. I got my final exam done, done with yet yeah, yesterday because I was taking a summer class. And uh, you know, you guys know like you know how, how hard I'm trying to make my videos and how much effort I put into my videos. And there are going to be times where I'm going to mess up on and treat my videos. And uh, there are going to be times where I'm not going to have a um, certain amount of time to, you know, um, you know, have a certain amount of time, uh, times to make a video. So, yeah. But I mean, I do like, video I do like making videos, so don't get me wrong. But, um, you know, uh, you know, it's been... A little busy for me now, so uh, since uh, yester after yesterday, I've been pretty much free. I uh, also saw uh, Spider Man Far From Home, uh, which was pretty good. And um, I wonder what the next Marvel movie is going to come out. But, anyways, um, there has been a Pokemon uh, Sword and Shield uh, trailer that has came out, and I just never got a chance. I saw, I saw it uh, in. In person, like I saw it, I saw the trailer in person, but I just never got to do you know a video uh, trailer reaction for it. So it's been like since last week since I done that. Uh, I'm not sure what day it was. I think it was a Friday or something. I think it was like last Friday, not this Friday, not the not this Friday, the day I'm recording it. But I mean, uh, I think it was like. Uh, I can't remember. I think it was at the 12th they released it. I can't remember. So. Pretty good tea. My mom um, made this tea. Um, yeah, she just makes a pretty good um, homemade tea. But, um, um, let's see. Yeah, so I've been pretty, you know, busy. And, um, you know, Walmart was just driving me, uh, wow, busy. And, um, I couldn't keep up, so I ended up, uh, you know, quitting. So I guess I'll just talk about Walmart first and um, what my experience was, and then after that, I'll just talk about. I don't know. Uh, maybe I'll just talk about like what videos may be coming up. Or I suppose, and uh, I'm definitely gonna, you know, keep continue making videos. Uh, yeah, let me just, you know. For those who who's out there, you know, who's wondering how um, the Walmart, uh, you know, process works. So this is what they do. For uh, listen up um, for the new hires for Walmart um, or rehires, I suppose, in case you forget. But um, if you're you know wanting to work for Walmart, they have a really really good high pay. Um, the thing is. Their process takes a long time. So like, once you get past the interviews, their orientation um, isn't that long. Well, it's like a day or two long, I believe, depending what your Walmart Walmart uh, process takes, depending how long they take. Uh, for me, what it took was um, it could be the same thing for you guys. It could be, but um, for me, what they what they did was um, they uh, call. I applied online obviously i apply it online and then i and then the thing is you have to call them to you know yeah or else they won't call you the only reason 
I know this is because last year I tried to um, apply to Walmart and I wait for them. They never called me back. So when I called them, it just, um, they picked up and then the coordinator helped me out with the schedule and stuff. She's, she insisted me that I should have an open schedule. But then they'll adjust it after. Man, it's really good to be back um, in front of the camera. Although I, I do have stage fright when I'm performing in front of people in person, but behind the camera, I'm not. I do, I do like, you know, want to um, overcome that uh, fear of stage fright. And um, I know I will overcome it, but anyways, um, it was like, there were like some nice, there was like some nice people at Walmart um, as employees that, that did help me. And um, another uh, thing is there's like some nice customers, but then the, most of them there was like, I'm not gonna be too rude and stuff. I'm not gonna be rude. I'm just gonna say that they, they let just let me just say they weren't like as nice as you expected them to be. That's what uh, I'm gonna tell you for that one. Uh, for all the people who were over there as employees and as customers, but uh, overall it was a pretty good job. Uh, it's a great job. I wouldn't overall. It is overall golden opportunity for the retail world, but if you think of it, it's kind of like a bronze or silver opportunity. If you ask me, that's what that's what I think. It could be. You could you guys have a. You could guys have a you know different opinion, but I think it's like a you know silver or a bronze opportunity for anyone. Um, over, as an overall company to work for <clears throat> but as a retail uh, world I suppose it's uh, a golden opportunity but overall I don't think it is I think it's like more like silver or bronze opportunity that's what I think in my opinion you guys could have your, you know different I could be totally wrong you know so don't just like you know just like um, you know write hate comments about me or anything I'm just like I'm just telling you what I I think of what it is but oh, overall yeah it is what it is I suppose let me just let me just say it's, it is what it is you know you can't change the fact fact of how it is so anyways um yeah I worked at Walmart um for like a month and a half I had to quit because I couldn't keep up with my classes I mean not that I wanted to but uh I had to. Of course, my parents weren't <laughs> too happy with that. And my uh, sister, she, would be, she was uh, really upset with me that I had to. She didn't want me to, but I couldn't keep up. But I'm not gonna go too much into that detail, so I'm just gonna tell, I'm gonna, uh, that's all I'm gonna tell you for how, of how, um, how my family reacted and how I reacted, but, um, but uh, the thing is, uh, you know, if you're doing as a, if you're working as a cashier, uh, I wish you good luck. Uh, if you're used to cashier, uh, then I still wish you good luck, because there are gonna be times as um, there's gonna be like, you're gonna, you know, meet rude customers or some shady customers, I suppose. And not, not that I have met in my Walmart when I worked there, but um. I only quit. I only quit because I had to. Because for a couple of reasons, one of them being I can keep up with my college work, and then another one being you know, I I had to. I mean, I didn't like it. You know, sometimes we have to make those types of decisions, whether or not we like it, whether or not we like it. So, yeah. Or in other words, whether we like it or not, we have to make those types of decision. At some point in our lives, but I'm just saying, you know, and, um, um, let's see, yeah, so, they, um, w when I, um, got the application through, I had to, um, let's see, go attend an, an interview, and then they told me to come back, um, the same day, I went, I can't remember when, and, I can't remember 
what when and, and what day it was but um or what time it was i can't remember to be honest because i do kind of forget easily not that i'm an old man or anything but i'm just saying i just kind of like you know forget but um anyways uh they uh called me for a second interview they sent me home for a couple hours but then i had to leave uh for Walmart, I have to go back to Walmart in other words, and then I had to give them a second interview, then they told me they wouldn't let me know. And then a couple of weeks after, and then a couple of weeks after, no, not a couple of weeks after, a couple of days after, they called me in for my orientation. And at the time, um, I, I forgot what I didn't have. There was like some some certain papers that I didn't have, so they sent me back home, and then um, and then they called me the next day. So I went to orientation again, but with a different group of people, and um, the orientation took like almost all day. And then after that, uh, we we were you know we we were shown some like. Some um, videos and the me, me and the other, well, the group of people and me, we, uh, all of us were just like watching videos of the protection videos and safety videos and all that. I'm not going to list them through because I'm not going to waste, waste too much time because I'm trying to like wrap this up and then just like, you know, brief, brief it up as much as possible. So, because I don't want to get too much into details. Otherwise, this is going to be a long, long video. Uh, and then it's going to be like an hour video or, or two hours of video explaining like how, what my experience was. So I'm just trying to like brief it up. So we watched some certain videos it, and I'll tell you, it was like those videos like, oh, this, if you're in this situation, this is what you're supposed to do. And if you're in this situation, this that's what you're supposed to do. <sighs> so anyways, and after, after the, um, orientation um we we got like some like you know just a tour around the store a miniature tour for me it could be you um uh, guys ha could have like a, ma a maximum or a big tour or something that could take long i don't know but my tour was like short it's all i'm saying for that one for that um saying i suppose that what what i was saying um it was my tour was short um that one i took at walmart so after that they put us on computers if we were, were i don't know why they do this i think it's because of policy i don't know why they add so many policies i i don't know but i just think they just like need to reduce it reduce it down a little bit so um we for the cashier it takes it took me like uh um two weeks i think and then uh, for other position it just take it takes you like other uh couple of um days i suppose so if you're a cashier i suppose suppose go look to you because it's gonna take you at, at the max two weeks and minimum like more than three days I think so but um I can't remember but anyway so yeah I worked there as a cashier the dumbest thing was that um my coordinator um sent me at the front and never informed me that I wasn't supposed to have a hands-on register which I did th thankfully but um she never informed me or any other co coordinators or personals in other words informed me that um I shouldn't, I should not have, um, you know, hands-on training yet. I, I can only watch. And I didn't pass my graduation, uh, test. And, um, yeah. Right, and then, and then, um, the second time I was about to take it, I told the management that, oh, um, the people who meet the schedule, at least, uh, that, um, well, the manager, schedule manager, I suppose. And, um. I told them that I need to take my test and I didn't pass it. She told me that she didn't know that I didn't pass, it, so I only I could only shadow a cashier who was and then it was good to have uh, hands on training for register for a couple of days, but um, you know, 
I at least I had, I at least I got some experience though. And well, the co well the coordinator or the person should have should have just warned me in the ca uh, in the uh, cashiers that I can only shadow them. But you know, <clears throat> it is what it is. So yeah. But um, after the schedule manager, which you know, referring to people who made schedules, and the person person the head, I suppose the head who makes the schedule, I don't know um what they're called uh the people who made the schedule i don't know what their positions are called but um uh yeah so the manager so i'm gonna call them schedule manager the main person who makes the schedules excuse me so um yeah i could shadow sh the re you know register but i didn't pass the second time so I ended up going um, going to take I ended up going back and um, take taking the test again a couple of days after and um, I ended up passing it but um, I ended up quitting because I can again I couldn't keep up with my classes and stuff so yeah there that's a brief um, that's that's a brief uh, long story short that's a, that's the shortest I could tell you because I you guys probably would would have asked me like what you know details and if you want to learn about more about you know Walmart, um, about cashier and stuff, and now I will not provide you any answer to your online quizzes or online tests and stuff. But I can answer your guys' question if you guys have any. Just like you know, uh, go if you guys have any questions about Walmart, uh, go ahead and let me um, well let me know in the comments down below, and then I'll I'll try I'll try my best to answer it for you guys in the comment section down below. But, um, yeah, so I focused back on my college. I started my college in the towards this past week, and then last week i I was extremely busy catching up with my college work, and um, you know, college students out there, you guys know like how hard college can be, so or how difficult it can be. so I um as a college student I I stayed busy so I couldn't keep up with my um college work and my you know not Walmart wasn't my career it's not what I want to do I just want to go and do something in filming I won't tell it what I want to do in filming because I'm not I'm not gonna say what I'm going to do in filming but um I'm just gonna say I'm just gonna, like wanting to do something in filming. That's what I want to do as a career, and um, I think um, yeah, that's about it. So uh, that's why I had to quit because I want to like you know go to go on and move on to the next level of college, I suppose, from freshman to sophomore to junior to senior and so on, I suppose. That's how it works. Anyways, um, excuse me, um, so I, um, decided to stick with my college, and, my, and I, I finished with the exam yesterday, and, uh, hopefully I did, I did pass, but, um, I did finish my exam yesterday, so, um, free for, like, a couple of weeks, then, and then I get busy with it, so. Anyways, um, so yeah, I've been pretty busy. Well, this majority of this video, uh, I all I did was talk about Walmart. I try to brief it up as po much as possible, and um, you know, it's it's it was supposed to be shorter than this, but um, I had to, you know, I had to explain how the process worked, and then I had to, you know, tell you guys like how you know how I, how I bu was busy with um Walmart so so uh I think that's about it there's gonna be more videos coming out and uh, I'm gonna try my best to post post them and then um this was another update video to let you guys know of um why I was so busy and why I didn't make more videos and all that you know it's you know 
as as college, you know, goes on, like as you start college, I mean, for you guys, uh, high, in, guys in high schools or high school students, uh, once you get out of high school, uh, high school is gonna, or after high school, college is gonna be really, really, uh, you know, difficult for you. So, once you get used to college, you are going to understand how hard the college is gonna be. So, unless you understand, you know, understand it before, I suppose, but. Yeah, what I'm saying is college is difficult, so, you know, you have to do a lot of work, and you have to keep up, you know, and all that. But anyways, um, it's just, um, you know, I've been busy, and I've been telling you that I'm back, and then I, I think I'm only available for a couple of weeks just to make videos, and then after that I'm going to try my best, make some time, and make, make some more videos. And I haven't been uh, doing anything for my other channel for, um, you know, vlogging. And um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope I did not bore you guys uh, at all. Um, I hope I didn't. Because I just guys wanted to let you know why I've been, you know, what have I been doing. And how, how come I've never been uploading constantly just like I used to. So, yeah. Um... And I do apologize about this video, you know, being uh, too long. It was intentionally, uh, or it was supposed to be, at least it was supposed to be, you know, a little shorter than it, it is right now. It's supposed to be like 11 minutes at least, um, I suppose, or 11 minutes at the max. But, um, you know, it is what it is. So, so the main point is I'm back making videos, so. And then once I get busy with college again, in a couple of weeks, in a couple of weeks, then I'm gonna have to find find some time to make videos. But anyways, there should be more videos coming up. And uh, thanks for guys hearing me out. And uh, if you made it this far, thank thank you so much your support. Uh, you guys' support means so much to me. And um, Thank you for listening, and I uh, hope I give you a uh, good uh, advice about you know uh, about Walmart for you new hires out there who's going um, into Walmart. And if you go into Walmart, Walmart has a really good pay. I tell you that uh, it's it's a, it has more pay than uh, Marshalls or any other TDS companies. I don't know about Ross, but maybe Ross, but they're like they're like in the high you know way high I won't tell you exactly the amount but they're in like somewhere in the high hundreds I'll tell you that and I won't tell you that amount because uh, what exact amount they go up to because their pay varies depending how well you do with your job but anyways um, thanks for you guys listening if you like this video uh, press the like button and um, and uh, subscribe to my channel and uh, also, if you have any questions about Walmart at all, let me know. And um, yeah, um, I'll be making more videos on this channel. And uh, I'll see you guys in the next one. And um, wait, am I forgetting anything? Oh, yeah. Um, Ottawa sequence out.